Hey guys, I'm really excited. In today's video, we're gonna look at how we've been able to move to using 100% biodegradable bags for the production of our substrate bills. So like I said, I'm really excited because we've been able to move to using 100% biodegradable bags for all of our substrate bales using low-tech techniques. But first, I also want to just thank our partner Shopify for sponsoring this video. Now, this isn't something that we often do, but in this case, it will make total sense. It made total sense for us, and you'll find out later in this video why. So you might actually wonder why I'm so excited about this development with biodegradable bags and it's pretty clear. Over the past 10 years or so we've been so often asked why the use of single-use plastic is so commonplace in mushroom cultivation. So let's start at that point. Well there are a few good reasons for that. Lots of growers really appreciate the fact that it's got a high humidity retention, water retention, so it encloses this space which is good for your substrate. Then of course it's also strong, right? It's a really strong material, so if you think about growing in column bags or just carrying even larger bits of substrate around, it needs to be able to carry that weight, and that's definitely a property that good plastics have. And then on top of that, the other reason lots of growers use it is because they choose to grow using sterilized ways. The plastic needs to be able to deal with really, really high temperatures and not fall apart. Lots of traditional plastic have those properties. And then again, on top of that, it's really cheap to use, but but I'm sure you'll agree and I'm sure you're aware of it, there are also some bad things. So the fact that it's single use often means that it ends up in landfill, it doesn't biodegrade, it sticks around for many, many years, and that is a real problem. Sometimes it often emits methane when it's dumped in landfills. Loads of countries don't have a proper system in place for collecting, let alone recycling waste. So all of those things amount up to quite a problem often. And that's why I'm so excited about this development and sharing it with you. And if you want to go into more detail on plastic-free mushroom farming and some of the advantages, disadvantages, then we've done a video for you and I'll link to it in the description below this video. So we're in one of our incubation rooms here and you can see behind me there's a whole wall of fully compostable biodegradable substrate bills. Now we believe this to be a world's first. You as a viewer might think, hang on, I've seen other uses of plastic in mushroom cultivation that might have claimed to biodegrade. And when you look into the next level of detail, there is a material which makes things quite confusing and the material is called oxodegrading. The way it's produced is like this. So you use traditional plastics, you have a bioadditive like cornstarch. What the end result is here is that once it's discarded, it does break up but it doesn't biodegrade. What it reminds me of is the use of microbeads in toothpaste. You might remember this, there's a whole row about how this all ends up in our waterways, and this is not a sustainable solution, of course. In fact, it looks like the EU is agreeing with this being misleading and has undertaken legal action, so hopefully this kind of material will be banned soon. So instead of these bales being plastic-based and leading to microplastics, they are made of a material which is fully compostable and biodegradable. They're made of starches, cellulose, as well as vegetable oils. Now, what does this mean? It means that you can add these after the use and growing your mushrooms from them, you can add them to your compost heap. And as long as they're exposed to oxygen, all will be well and it just fully biodegrades. Now one more thing and just to remind you that when you use sterilization methods for your mushroom cultivation, this is not really an option for you because it won't withstand high heat treatments like use of autoclaves or super pasteurization vessels. Now this is why our way of growing, the low-tech mushroom farming way of growing, is just all coming together really nicely because we do feel that the use of single-use plastic is a real issue in mushroom cultivation. So if you want to find out, there's loads you can find out about the low-tech mushroom farming course as well as the community. If you want to find out more, we'll add a link to the description below this video. And also just so you know, this material is fully certified by all the relevant institutions. So you're watching this on YouTube and we've been on YouTube for some time now and we absolutely love it. We love engaging with the community feel. We love adding videos that I hope you find useful to watch. And it's been growing and growing and it's perfectly aligned with our mission as a social enterprise to get more people into growing mushrooms, which is often an overlooked crop. Now, so we've been doing YouTube for some time, but for a longer period, you might not realize we've been using Shopify, which is an e-commerce platform. We've been using them to sell our products, like the mushroom grow kits, for instance. We've been selling them for over a decade. At the start, a simple 
simple website with a PayPal button to check out. Then we migrated to the platform offered by Shopify and we found it super easy, super reliable, really easy to set up even if you don't have any real tech skills. And there's all sorts of apps and bits that you can add to it to make it um, even better, of course. Shopify also integrates with social platforms such as Facebook and Instagram, and they also have an app that allows in-person sales when you're at a farmer's market or pop-up events. And now this is the point where I can let you know why I'm so excited about teaming up with them for this particular video. YouTube and Shopify have collaborated on a new integration. What does that integration look like? For you as a YouTube viewer, it means that should you pick any particular moment in the video where you think, oh, I'd like to find out more about a particular product, then you can go to a product shelf below the video and that makes it really easy for you to find out where you can buy something. It's a one-click operation. So I'm really excited about that, really curious how it's gonna go. And you'll see below this video, you can now buy our mushroom grow kits or buy the mushroom substrate bills. So back to those bales behind me there. We think they're awesome. They're the world's first fully biodegradable, compostable, fully certified bales that fully degrade on your compost heap. Now, I'm really excited about this. The reduction on our farm here of single-use plastic is amazing. I think all mushroom growers like you and I can benefit from this. And if you want to buy some of these blocks, you can buy them on the product shelf right below this video. So I hope you found this video useful and let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.